and what's up? It's me, Micah, and welcome to a brand new fashion haul video. If you guys are new to my channel, hello, welcome to my channel. You are very much loved and appreciated here. For those of you who have been with me for quite some time now, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for clicking on yet another video. It's been a while since kumuwa ako ng clothing and even shoes haul. I don't think I've ever done a shoes haul, but now I'm gonna include a few pairs. Most of these actually nabili ko siya bago mag GCQ way back March. Some of them kahabili ko lang, but only because I still have hostings, online live streams to do, and of course I still want to be presentable even when I'm just on cam or in my house. And guys, address ko lang na medyo napakapal yung kilay ko. Hindi ko na siya binura or binago. Inisip ko, you know what? Let's just, let's let the bushiness be. And also, I'm not gonna forget my lippy of the day. I'm wearing a combination of two. The first one is this Love is Life lippy from Elana. And this L'Oreal Rouge. I believe that's what you call it, rouge. Lippy in the shade I Enchant. All right, no more rambling. Let's get right into the video. I started on the most lately na napapansin kong trend all over Instagram and also even Shopee and Lazada. This one, however, I got from Bench. And it is this terracotta na. I still call this a sports bra, but I think people call it something else now. I'm usually not up to speed with these things. So it's a padded sports bra. Natatanggal rin naman yung pads if you're not into that. It's garterized at the very bottom. And I think that's what really sold me. The quality is also really good and I believe that I got this for about 300 pesos bordering 400 actually kind of matches my lippy I mean who is she she is kind of getting sporty I got myself ACG shorts from Commonwealth not gonna lie this was a little expensive but I thought that I needed good quality shorts that I can use to the gym if ever I can go back to the gym na after all this is over I can use it for working out or or when we decide to hike, if we're, I'm ever gonna decide to do that. So, I really like a trusty pair of shorts that is comfortable and at the same time appropriate for any sporty activity. Since we're already talking about some bottoms, I'm gonna go to the only pair of pants that I will show you guys today, which is, ta-da! I think these are mom jeans from the brand BDG. BDG is under Urban Outfitters. I believe that this is their more affordable line. I got this from Zalora, so I'm sure you guys can still find it there. I'm gonna try to link it down below if I find it. And just to let you guys know, I usually don't buy from Zalora unless naka sale sila or unless meron akong code. That's why I got this also on sale. I'm not sure how much, but I'm just gonna flash the price somewhere on the screen. What really sold me is the vintage shade, the dark blue hue of this pants. I also really like the cut at the end of the pant legs. It looks so raw and unfinished and I'm all about that. Next clothes that I'm gonna show you guys are all midi dresses. First dress, we have this midi embroidered dress from Mango in the size XS. I love the detail on this. And also this little flap on the armhole. It's not something that people would really notice, but I noticed it right away when I saw the woman on the photo or the model on the photo wearing this. And I'm not sure if I mentioned, but everything else that I'm gonna show you guys are from Mango. So like like what I said, this dress is just very flowy, nothing too hapit. It's not too thin, it's not too thick, it's well made, well stitched. That's the reason why I love Mango so much. They get my style and although they are expensive, you're gonna wear their pieces for a really long time because they're made really well. Next up, we have another midi dress from Mango. We have here a breathtaking blue dress with some floral detailing. It also has an inner lining because the outer cloth is quite sheer. Another detail that I like about it is the pleats. Look at 
that. You may also opt to tie this up, but personally, I like leaving it down like that. I think it looks more chic that way. I got this on sale. I think it's still on sale for about 600 pesos. I'm just gonna link that down below. Next is one of my favorite purchases from Mango ever. I've been eyeing this ever since, but it was pretty expensive. The original price was like 2,295 or somewhere around that range, and I'm never, I'm not gonna buy a dress for that much unless I really have to. So this went on sale for 1,295, and then I got a slash of about 390 something. So in short, I got it for below a thousand pesos. We have here this gorgeous white dress that comes with a belt. It also has some pleats here at the bottom half. My goodness, you guys, this is so beautiful, especially when you see it in person. You know, that's the thing about buying from trusted brands. You are sure of the quality that you are getting. So yeah, I just love the style of this. It's so classy, it's classic, it's sophisticated, it's elegant, it's all those nice adjectives combined. Another dress, probably my cheapest purchase out of everything that I'm gonna show you guys. I got it for only 295 less because I used a voucher on top of the discounted price is this midi dress from Mango once again. It's just this simple white puffy peplum dress. It's very comfortable. The material is also quite thick, so you're sure na hindi kayo makikita sa loob. It looks white, but it's actually like a bony shade of white. This is a really nice choice for lazy days. They have this in two other colors, black and another one. I forget. <laughs> Last dress, or rather last midi dress for this haul is the super cute striped sleeveless dress from Mango once again. So I believe that the material of this is a mix of linen and cotton. This was originally around I believe 2,000 plus pesos. I got it for 600 pesos on sale plus the voucher code. What I love most about this is that it looks casual but you dress it up with a pair of heels, maybe a blazer and a nice clutch bag. You look like you're going to somewhere fancy but at the same time you can also dress it down, wear slippers with it and still look nice and presentable even if you're just going out to the mall or for a grocery run. Moving on to the second to the last category, which are the tops that I bought again from Zalora. All of them are still from Mango. We have here this cute lacy loose top. Of course, what sold me are the lace trimmings. And apart from that, I've kind of been getting sick of tucking my clothes in. I'm still a fan of that, I guess, for shirts and then high-waisted pants. But the thing is, I kind of want to transition to not tucking in my clothes. And I believe that this is the perfect top for that because of the details that you wouldn't want to hide here at the bottom of the top. Another top that I've been eyeing for so long from Mango. This sleeveless blouse. Obviously guys, I've been getting a lot of white things, but I'm just into white, black, and cream nude. Just that palette, pretty much. The reason why I've been eyeing this for quite some time now is because it is unique or set apart from the other blouses that have the similar design. As you can see, the color almost covers where the sleeves end. And usually tops like this one have sleeves up to the very end of your shoulder. I got it for less than 800 pesos, I believe. Another simple but basic top, we have here this sleeveless V-neck white cotton top. This is also under Mango's eco-friendly line. It's very simple, but what I love about it is that there's a lot of room for me to put or layer my necklaces. <laughs> Definitely not as low as this one. This top is pretty low. I don't remember. I don't recall if I've ever worn this outside. Probably not. The neckline of this goes down quite a bit, but not low enough to make you catch too much attention, if that makes sense. A great example of a top that you need to tuck in. Non-negotiable, you gotta tuck this in. Our last top of the day, which I love so much, but I broke. I broke it. We have another embroidered top from Mango. Look at the detail on this top. The straps are also adjustable. If you want it low, you can opt to do that. If you want it high so that, you know, it's not showing too much cleavage, then you can also do that as well. You're probably wondering, Micah, how did you break it? Um, I stretched it too much. So look at what happened here. 
Look at that, do you see that tear? I have no idea how I'm gonna fix that up. You know what, maybe I'm gonna summon my stitching skills from grade four. Moving on to the shoes portion of this haul. Simula na ako sa Mango. Diretsuhi na natin. Tada! We have here another pair from Mango. So this design has block heels. It's also made out of genuine leather with a croc effect. What sold me is the color. I just love, love, love caramel brown. Anything brown when it comes to shoes and bags. And again, I got it delivered through Zalora. Have I mentioned that this is not sponsored by? Zalora, it's not sponsored. The next two pairs of shoes that I'm gonna show you guys are from the outlet store of Charles and Keith. First, we have another pair of block heels. So this is in size six. I'm actually a size seven, but since I was really obsessed with this gold detail on the strap, I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna use it for my hostings anyway, which I believe I have used this once, but then yeah, the GCQ, ECQ, MECQ, and Among Q happened. It's a really nice pair. It's also pretty basic. So you can also use this in the mall. It's very comfortable, you guys, because block heels are what you need if you're looking to wear heels, but at the same time, don't want to sacrifice comfort. I got this for 900 pesos from the outlet store that I was talking to you guys about. You can find that in Paseo de Santa Rosa inside of their bench. Also, slash La Senza store. We are down to the last item for this haul, and we have here another pair from the Char Charles and Keith outlet that I was talking to you guys about. Ta da! Lilac flats. So, so beautiful. This took my breath away when I saw it. I was like, I have to have it. I've worn this. A few times already, madumena siya. The satin finish though, I mean, look at that subtle sheen. It's a nice pop of color if you ever just decide to wear a monochromatic outfit. It's worth it kasi sobrang ganda ng quality ng Charles and Keith na shoes. Ang dami ko mga Charles and Keith na hanggang ngayon buhay pa. But anyway, the challenge for me is to stop hoarding clothes unless I've worn everything that I've already bought and two, to make sure that whenever I do hauls, I do it because I want you guys to see what's nice, what's good, if you're ever choosing between these items, if they're ever in your cart, in your shopping app, or if you're ever thinking of buying something for a special occasion, I do not want you to spend on all of this in one go it's not worth it. They're just clothes at the end of the day. This is something that I'm lecturing to myself as well because I need to hear this. I do. And now whenever I buy clothes or buy things, if they're not especially for a video, inisip ko talaga na mabuti na do I really want to clothe myself in all these nice things or do I want to clothe my heart, clothe my mind with good character? Which one is it? Because if it's good character, then that comes with self-discipline. And if I don't have self-discipline in such a simple thing as purchasing items, then what more with bigger responsibilities? And that trait you can apply to the different aspects of your life, not just in purchasing, not just in the way you talk to people, but also in how easily swayed you can be around your friends who may not be a good influence to you. They don't even have to be your friends. They could be your family. They could be strangers for that matter. Here's my challenge for me and for all of you guys who love fashion and shopping. Clothe yourselves with good character. Clothe yourselves with self-discipline. I think more than having nice clothes, that's what's more rewarding. Anyway, that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you want me to make more fashion related videos like tips and ideas, do comment that in the comment section. I'm gonna leave you guys with love, hope, and faith. For today, you watched me, Michael Louise, and I cannot wait to see you again. Bye, everyone.